All right, so I think I might have found the issue that was going on with my FPS. Um, I went in and changed the render on the profile savings to render it at a direct X12. And then I also noticed it was a 60 frame per second cap on my uh, whatchamacallit. So we are now at a 150 something frames per second, but we're gonna see what the resolution is gonna look like and go from there. Um, but I am actually running a lot more smoother compared to what I was running. It is some stuttering, I can tell you that now. But this is with a RTX 3080, by the way. Um, and I'm getting 130 some frames per second. So let's look at our, let's look and see what our um, display is. Everything is still set the same. Everything is still low. I disabled the freaking um, DLSS. It's off. I cut it completely off. No ray tracing. Cut the freaking reflex mode off. Everything else is at a... I'm going to see if I bump it up to this. Have taken out half the um, but other than that, everything is Alpha pretty much by the enemy. set. Set this to... Everything is pretty much set um, to the actual lowest frame possible. And it doesn't look that great, to be honest. But you do notice a big difference on the FPS. The uh, enemy now controls all sectors. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. But as you can see, this is this is the best that I can do, man. I'm getting and I'm getting over a hundred and something frames per second. Um, I'm gonna actually show you guys once I get out of here what I did over. to get the FPS. If you're having the same issues, um, I really couldn't find a solution. Everybody had their own way, and then some people were just being a straight jack tail. Um, but other than that. Um, But for the most part, hey, I'm getting 137 frames per second, so that's good. So, Battlefield 2042 on a PC is so unoptimized. I can say that right off the bat. Yes, it's very unoptimized. Just fight. I don't know why it's unoptimized like it is, but it is very unoptimized, and I do not recommend it. Um, We've lost control of an objective. Right now, I wouldn't recommend the game. I'm just going to... Just keep it 100. I do not recommend the game right now. There's just have captured too Delta much sector. issues with the uh, with the actual game itself. Man. Way too much issues. Yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick. Um, I don't know why it's doing what it's doing, but it's doing it. Our ranks are getting thin. They've taken Alpha Sector. Hostile forces are holding all sectors. So I think we might have might have found the issue, man. We're gonna just play with it some more. I don't know why it had it capped at freaking not overconfident. 60 FPS, dude. I kid you not. And this is the way that the game was like from you just downloading it. So you have to literally go in and optimize it yourself to basically get the frames that you're getting. So um, I don't know what it is. As you can see, it looks like crap. But you get an FP, FPS boost, so um, the weirdest stuff I've ever seen, I swear.
All right, guys. So in order to basically change the FPS so you can get an FPS boost, this is what helps me uh, get the FPS that I was looking for. Um, we're going to actually go back into the document. So if you go to documents, you're going to see this profile save. All right. So let me back all the way out. So you're going to go to your documents folder. You're going to go to battlefield um, 2042. You're going to go to settings. And then you're going to go to profile save and then you're going to open with uh you're going to open with notepad so you're going to open up with notepad once you do that i've already got an open up you're going to get this right here so the first thing you're going to actually do is this so you're going to go to um let's, let me see what i changed in minds it was some that was getting recommendation and I mean, they was doing the best that they can. I mean, which I don't blame them, but, uh, make sure that you actually, if you can make sure you remember this, um, you can pause the video, whatever case you got to do, uh, go to the GST render dot DX 12 enable and make that a one. All right. So after that, what I did after that, I went to the, uh, let me see if I can find it. I do apologize. I was just going in here trying to play with it just to get the, the, uh, max FPS that I could possibly get. So I do apologize. Um, resolution. I went to this and I set it to a 240 Hertz. It was set to 60 FPS. So, uh, GST render resolution Hertz 240 make sure that you actually tick that to make it a uh 240 as well um after that i went to let me see it was one more thing that i actually change um reflex turn this off gst render in the video reflex turn that completely off and that's how i got my fps boost so if you got any questions in the comments below, I know it sucks. Um, you would think that if they have a PC model, the Battlefield 2042, that it would be more optimized than what it is, but it, it actually sucks. But for now, this is what you what I used in order to get the FPS that I got. Um, you don't have to backdate your, basically uh, uninstall your latest uh, driver, uh, NVIDIA driver. As you can see, it, we can go right here. Um, I'll show you real quick. My latest NVIDIA driver is the uh, 496.49. A lot of people are saying that you have to uninstall it, but you do not have to uninstall it. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Hopefully this will help you guys get the FPS that you're looking for, but this is what helped me. And as you can see, I was rocking a, uh, let's go to it. I'm actually rocking a um, AMD Ryzen 5912 core 31 gigabytes of um, of RAM with the RTS 3080, and I was getting low FPS. And a lot of people was complaining about the issue, so hopefully it helps you guys. If it does, man, leave a comment below. Also, press that thumbs up, and then also share this to let it get out to other people that can help them as well. It's your boy, Dan Tanner, 24, Future Show YouTube channel. I have a peace and wonderful day. Take care, guys.